again. Okay, this is like my crazy biggest elf haul ever. Um, Eyeslipspace.com elf. I've tried some of, so much of their makeup and stuff before, but there was so much stuff that I hadn't tried. They have it at Target, but at elf.com or eyeslipspace.com, they have the full line of everything that they have. And when you get boxes, they come in bags like this. And I have two because it was their birthday sale and everything was 50% off. Um, right now they're doing all the studio stuff is 50% off, but when I ordered everything, everything was 50% off. So the first thing I got was these lotion wipes. And I got four packs. I got milk and honey, peony petal, sweet mango, and um, coconut vanilla. And they were ended up being $1.50 a piece. And I, I've tried these. I've used these. These are great for on the go. They're great for like if you go to the pool after like laying in the sun all day or swimming. Just for a quick little dose of moisturizer to take in the car on trips. If you're flying, don't want to take like liquid lotion, these will work. These are awesome. Keeping your office, keeping your desk, keeping your locker. They are really, really honest to goodness moisturizing. As easy as a makeup wipe. That's the way they come. You just open it and pull it out. It's not a moisturizer that I would go to that this is the sole only moisturizer you use. But for, you know, the beach, any kind of on-the-go thing, these are a great idea. Super more convenient for travel because they're not going to, like, you know, get really messy or, like, leak. Hopefully not. haven't had a problem with that because there, there doesn't seem to be, like, a ton of liquid in there with them. But they really do moisturize. I was really surprised, and I love these, and I would recommend these completely even at $3. But when I got them, they were $1.50. The other thing I got was lashes. I got six pair of lashes. I got three pair of brown, three pair of black. And you can really tell the difference with between the brown and the black. These are the brown. These are the black. I got the natural lash. They were 50 cents a piece. So you can't beat that. But they do have a thicker band that I'm not sure that I will like. Because I'll have to do like a pretty thick thing of eyeliner with them. Um, where that I do occasionally freelance and do makeup for other people. I went ahead and I haven't used these before, but since they were on like a really good sale, I got several of these, the mascara ones, the disposable ones, and the lip gloss ones. And there's 12 in there and I got them for $1.50 a pack. So not bad at all. It's definitely stocked up on those. I got several packages of the cream eyeliner. I've tried it before. It is so much like MAC Fluid line, like completely, but it's a dollar fifty three or normally three dollars. I got it for a dollar fifty. It lasts and lasts and lasts. It's it's really like pigmented. It's the best cream gel, whatever you want to call it, eyeliner. Besides MAC Fluid line that I found, more than the Maybelline, I think I've tried that one. A couple of the others. This Teal Tees is my favorite. It is just phenomenally pigmented. And the color is awesome. It's like a bright, a bright teal blue with, um, with like gold sparkles. And that's what it looks like. And this is the way that the packaging is. It's a little bit bulky for the packaging. I'm going to try to like... You can even use this as like a cream eye, like eyeshadow base. And that color is just like crazy beautiful. Crazy, crazy, crazy beautiful. Love it. Uh, the other thing I got was some of the mineral makeup. And I got the color light in this in the foundation and it's really similar to Bare Minerals I'm not gonna lie it with performance super super similar to Bare Minerals um because I've tried I compared like the Bare I don't even know if I did a video or if it was just like me comparing but I did I compared the Ulta mineral makeup the Bare Minerals and the Wet n Wild and I should have thrown this one in there too but I didn't know it existed um, because it is super similar, but really cheap. <laughs> and it's even cheaper at $3. I think it says 3 it may be 6 But the Wet n Wild one was like 5 or 6 for theirs too. So, 
that's light. And then I got the Mineral Booster that is like the Mineral Veil, but it's a little bit pigmented. And it is perfect for my skin tone. There's like, it's a pink, like a pinky color to it. And then when you rub it in, it is just like, just like the Mineral Veil. It fills in stuff. I'm not sure if you can even see it. But the Mineral Booster, I don't think it came in, I got the sheer color. And, but it's definitely a warmer skin toned color mineral veil stuff. It's not translucent at all. There's a definite pink to it, but if you have a lot of pink undertones in your skin, then oh my heck, go for it. Um, the other eyeliner I got was Coffee. I wish I had gotten Copper too, but I need to pick up Copper. And I meant to get the eyebrow kit um, for $3, but they're sold out of it now. I only got one baked eyeshadow, but oh my goodness, you need to get some of these. Um, they're really similar to the clean color ones I got they're, that are a dollar a piece. I don't know if I would pay the normal six dollars for this, Th or three maybe, but yeah, it's so pretty. It is an iridescent pink with gold in it. It's called Pixie. And if you can find the clean color, get those. But if you see this on sale, pick it up. Uh, the clean color really spoiled me. That's like really bad. But it, it's really pretty. You could even use this color as a blush. And that's the Pixie, the mineral eyeshadow. Um, I got a bunch of the, the little single eyeshadows. I got Saddle. And these, like, combined together, the colors are so pretty. And I'm going to have to rip the boxes because they're not wanting to cooperate with me. But this is Saddle. And they come in, like, the travel. Like, I, I have a NARS Luster that came in this exact same size and shape little, um, little case. These are so soft. They do remind me of the NARS individual shadows. Like, Maybe even a little bit buttery and creamier. Let's see if I can get to where you can see that. That is Saddle. And it is like a, a warm brown with some copper in it. Love that color. Love the texture. Oh my goodness. The next one I got is called Oatmeal. And it is like a yay, yummy, beautiful highlighter shade with some golden shimmer in it. It is not as creamy and as pigmented as Saddle. But Oatmeal is right in front of Saddle. It's still something I can work with. It's still something that I definitely like. Um, the next one I got is Pebble. And they all come in this little packaging. And this is so sturdy. I don't know how it would be to try to depot these. But, you know, Pebble is a grayish taupe brown color. This would be a great brow color for a lot of people. If you're just looking for a brow color. And there is taupe right beside of Saddle. And this is taupe. Or not taupe, Pebble. And Pebble is a taupe color. <laughs> it's not, the color is not taupe, the color is Pebble. Sorry. And the other one I got, I got a couple more of those somewhere, maybe, I did. I got Coffee Bean, and it is a gorgeous, 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 like, dark brown with gold shimmer. And this one has, like, phenomenal smoothness, smoothness and pigmentation. And there is Coffee Bean. Really like it. Really, really like Coffee Bean too. And those four together are just like a great like neutral eye look in my opinion. Sunset is my second favorite besides Saddle. And it's like this orangey color. And when I swatch it, I'm going to swatch it up and down. I'm not sure if you'll get like all the, the shimmery prettiness of this color. But that's Sunset. And it 
like any of those like can be used together. I am so happy with those shadows. Like, love them. I also got, I think, three. I don't know how many. But several of the eyeshadow primers. I got sheer, champagne, and golden. And the sheer is just like kind of a clear. The golden is more like the Urban Decay Sin, I think. Sin or Eden. And then the other, the golden maybe like the, the is like the other one. So they also had their brush cleaner and brush shampoo. So I got the brush shampoo and some of the brush cleaner. Have not tried those out yet. But I got some more of their brushes because their brushes are really, really good. And I try to get brushes that, for me, that I don't have like a ton of. So I got like this fan brush for cleanup for under here. I've been looking for a fan brush and didn't want to. The 184 for MAC is really stiff. It's not as much for cleanup as it is applying a sheer um, little bit of color. You could do that with this one too. It's stiff enough to do that. I've tried it for that with the um, Heavenly Creature uh, Mineralized Skin Finishes and Blushes and it definitely works for that. But my favorite use for it is to really gently and not like blend in but just clean up like anything that you've spilled. So that's the fan brush. It was $1.50. I got the eyeliner brush. I got a backup of this one because I use it every single day. This is my favorite bent eyeliner brush. It makes it so easy with gel liners. Um, the other, and MAC doesn't have one like that that is bent. I know that Sonia Kashuk has one. Maybe some other places do. But the way that it's bent right there makes applying eyeliner. It's like the 210, I guess, from MAC. It's like the 210 but bent so that it's more user friendly. And I love it. So now I have two of those because the other one, like, if I want to change colors and stuff, it's a little bit, I have to go wash it really quick. But And I also got this one. It's like the elf version of the MAC 102 that I can't find. I would love to find somewhere. And it was $1.50. And it separates the lashes with this side. Or you can use this one if you feel froggy and go up and do your brows. Love this. Love it for... $1.50. Can't beat it. The next one I got were, was the shimmer pencils. These are so much like, okay, it's like the Pearl Glides from MAC, but from e.l.f. They're also kind of similar to some of the sparklier shades from Urban Decay. Like this one, the black, I just dropped it is so much like the Urban Decay Oil Slick. It didn't help her, I dropped it. But there's that one. Can't really see a ton of shimmer on this one. Toy, you kind of blend it out some, but it's definitely there. Um, they were a dollar, dollar fifty. So, we'll see. And the teal, I've had the teal before, and I think I like the te texture of it better than I did the, the black one just now. But maybe it was where I dropped the black one. Oh, yeah. There's the teal, and it's just, like, super smooth. Maybe I need to go, like, sharpen my black one again because I just dropped it, too. It has, like, the little sharpener on the side, but that's scary. Like, I don't think I could sharpen it that way. I'll just have to use my other sharpener. But there's that. And I also got the Plum Passion. So, I'll give you guys a little quick swatch of, the, of that one without dropping it, too. Okay. And there's the Plum Passion beside of the green. But for $1.50, these eyeliners, especially that teal, because I really like the teal one that I'd had before. And I have like swatches of stuff like everywhere. I don't have. Let's see how these lotion wipes work for a makeup removal wipe. Because that's the one thing I did not get from them. So we're going to check it out. 
Okay, guys, in a pinch, the makeup remover wipes will work, or the lotion wipes will work as a makeup remover wipe and give you some moisture. Just saying. Okay. The next thing I got, I got two of the bronzer palettes. I got the golden and the warm. And they, I thought they would be really similar, but they're not. They're really, really kind of different. And I would say that if you were darker than, like I'm like an NW15, and these are not close to being too dark. They're more like too pale. It's like, this one's like a really golden color. And this is the, this is the warm. And there's the swatch for the warm bronzer. Really pretty, just not like super dark. And this is the golden. And I just swirled them all together and this one is even lighter. This is more like a highlighter color. There's the warm, and there's the golden. You can barely even see the golden. So the golden will work really nicely as a highlighter. They are super, super soft. Super soft, really like them, but not incredibly dark. Then I got the blush and bronze powder. This is like so similar again to the NARS duos, except much bigger. And this is even kind of similar to Orgasm, not completely, but fairly, fairly good dupe for a dollar. I paid a dollar fifty, normally three dollars for the Orgasm Laguna Duo. This is the darkest bronzer. If you are darker skinned, you need this bronzer, not the other two. And again, that, that's my opinion, but there they are, and that's those are pretty light. And the golden is very, very light. So if you're like a uh, NW15 and you've been looking for a really light bronzer. There you go. Got another bottle of the brush cleaner. Those are primarily for on the go and stuff. And then I got the um, tone correcting powder. And it comes in the package just like the bronzers do. With like a peach, a tan, like a taupey stone color, a yellow, and a blue. And if you, you just want to focus on just one of the colors or you can swirl them all together. When you swirl them all together, you get that color. It's fairly light, but it does blend into like a translucent look. And it does help with redness. I really thought it wouldn't. I was like, yeah, whatever. But it really does. I am, my daughter is, it's crazy, but she's lighter than me at NW15. And this one works for me if you are you know, a little bit lighter, whatever, uh, you can get the other one, it's in here somewhere, it's this, this one, because we got it too, and this is the, um, does it have it designated, this is the other complexion perfection with the blue, yellow, teal, and pink. And this one also turns very translucent. The other one's just a little bit more yellow or warm. This one is super cool. And it blends away really well. But if you are super, if you're really dark, don't get this one. Get the other one. And just barely use a little because this will make you look, look really white. Um, we got this palette. It was... Normally three dollars, so it was a dollar fifty. And inside the palette is, and it's like one of their white palette things that they do. These colors are so pretty, and they are so pigmented, and it's just like a great neutral palette. And I just want to show you guys this gold because it is pretty, pretty. The champagne color on the end is a little dry, but the other gold colors are 
super, super, super soft. So there are swatches. That's the champagne color. That's the gold in the middle. And that's this one. So this is the only one that's dry. Is that one right there. The others are really, really great and pigmented. And I like them a lot. We got two of the tinted moisturizers. We got one in nude, one in porcelain. The nude is way too dark. Way, way, way too dark. Um, I would definitely go with the for my color, and if you're lighter than me and W15 or lighter, get the porcelain. I got my daughter this. This is primarily her bag of stuff that I am rating right now. She already knows. She's seen it. Um, I got her this crazy little uh, cute kabuki brush. It's a black and white, and it is so soft. It is softer than the MAC 182. And I would recommend it over the MAC 182 right now, especially if you're on a budget. If you're not on a budget, you know, don't worry about it. But if you were, like, stressing about getting the 182 because you need a kabuki brush, go get this one. They even have it at Target. It's $6 there, I think. But $3 if you get it from Elf during their birthday sale, during their half-off stuff. And oh, love this kabuki brush. It is not a drugstore, in my opinion, a drugstore type quality kabuki brush. It is so soft and blends really great. And I might get one for travel for me too. This is the angled contour brush. It is like the MAC 162 maybe? 160 something. But that's the shape of it. And it's really good for doing under your eyes or under, above or under your eyes, either one. So, and we got the stippling brush. Uh, not great, but for three dollar, well, a dollar fifty, not bad if you're wanting a one eighty seven. It gets the job done. Um, but it it will not not replace the one eighty seven. The angled contour brush really great blush brush for the price um, in my opinion doesn't quite it's super soft doesn't quite rival MAC but easily as good if not better than the Sigma angle blush brush 168 type um, blushes blush brushes here's more of the, the primers like I said we got several of the primers and all of this, my whole entire haul was $100. Um, this is like the one, the 129 is the equivalent of the MAC 129. Um, very, very soft brush. Great for powder application. If you were looking for some good brushes for really cheap, check out the, um, the Studio line from e.l.f. Really, really, really no BS great brushes. Um, the Glossy Gloss, they look kind of small. But these are like the MAC Cream Sheen glasses. And they have a little... And this looks so much like Astral and Star Quality from MAC that just came out. But it's called Wild Watermelon. Really great gloss. Can't, it's a little bit more opaque than, than a lip glass would be. We got the Shimmer Palette. And my daughter said it's like lip gloss for your eyes. And that's kind of how it is, is the texture and stuff. It feels like the the creamy like lip glosses that you get in palettes. But it's for your eyes. And you can use it under any shadow to turn it into a shimmery shadow. Or to add like to use as a, a base. And that's why we got these is for her to use as like um, eyeshadow bases underneath some of her, the shadows that she got that, that are really pale. Um, we got some of the blushes. We got like two of those. And again, they come in packaging really similar to NARS. The quality is excellent. They are super soft. Um, the colors that we chose were pale anyway. But there is that one. And it is Mellow Mauve. And we chose ones that she would be able to to wear if she does decide to wear something like really pale. But, you know, 
and they can be built up, but we again, we went for like the lightest colors that they had. And we got the Mellow Mauve and the Tickled Pink. And the Tickled Pink, I love. It is really similar to you to Stunner from MAC. It's right, right there. Super similar to Stunner or to Sex Appeal from Mars. A very light but very, very, very pretty blush. And then the only other thing we got was we got one of these um, for her to use just as an everyday cream eyeshadow. I've had these before. These are not my favorite, but she likes those and creasing doesn't really matter to her. And then our last item is the glitter gloss. This was a huge haul. Thanks for sticking around this long, guys. And it's kind of an unboxing for some stuff. And some stuff we've had out and we've tried and I just wanted to put back to show you what the packaging. Because the packaging isn't really like cheapy cheapy looking either. And these are kind of like MAC Dazzle glasses. And it's the glitter gloss. And it is multi-dimensional glitter. There's like blue, pink. It looks like and clear or silver glitter in there. So, phew! That is the Crazy Big Elf haul. I know she wants to keep the bags because they're really cute. They're really cute shopping bags um, for Elf to not have like an actual store that I'm aware of. The shipping was really fast. Um, like I said, for everything I've shown you guys, we spent like $100. So that's not, not bad at all. So thanks you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the Elf stuff or what you should try or, you know, whatever, let me know. And I'll try to come back and update and let you guys know what's really working out for us and what isn't. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.